this one is problem 2.1 in this one there is a diving board which is hinged at this point right here and there is a spring here for which k value is given which is 35 kilo newton per meter and the weight of this person right here is given 600 newtons and we need to figure out how much this spring is going to deflect if i assume that this board is rigid in nature so that after deformation it remains a straight line in this manner so the deformation spring here is going to be this delta and the spring force that will come on this board is going to be k delta here now we can do a moment balance about the hinge point here so your k delta about this point is going to give you anti-clockwise moment with a distance of 1.5 meters and which will be balanced by this moment coming from the weight 600 newtons here and that is sitting at a distance of 1.5 plus 1.35 so 2.85 meters now this k value is given to us k is 35 kilo newton per meter so if i solve for delta from here delta is 600 times 2.85 this meter and this meter will cancel out and remember 600 is a newton so it goes on top and your k value that's 35 kilo newton per meter so now this newton newton cancels out there is a still that kilo newton sitting there and there will be this 1.5 here so now if you solve this this comes out to be 32.57 millimeters in the second part of this question it is saying will the spring deflection be altered if the board is made very rigid so basically we have to compare two cases one when your board is flexible and the second one is when it is rigid so when it is flexible we are going to have a deflection that's going to look somewhat this and when we make it rigid it's going to become a flat line so it's going to be in this manner so somewhere here we have our spring so you can compare that in the case of flexible board your deformation is less and for the rigid case it is going to be more